Hey guys, welcome to Pelton Pits. Let's make some crispy Alabama white sauce crispy chicken wings. We're doing all on the Traeger, along with an update of our big wing cook-off. All right, before this video gets started, I have a little announcement to make. Today is all about the Alabama white sauce wing, okay? Um, you guys know that I'm rocking that uh, TMG hybrid lately from my boys down at TMG Pits. Uh, Brandon is one of the owners, and they actually took home a grand prize in the Big Kahuna Wing Contest. I've tried a few recipes out on here. One of them was a jerk chicken, and I've actually done something else that I had in mind to see if it would work, and it worked. Lo and behold, your boy came home with a trophy. So a lot of you guys said congratulations, you know, like, uh, hope you do well, let us know how it goes. So we're going to throw some footage up there about the wing contest. Um, I've already got these wings knocked out here. I don't want to talk too much, but I'm super excited. Super excited. So today's homage is all about the Alabama white sauce because that was one of the categories that Brendan won. He won two categories. He won the Buffalo and he won the Smoker Division, which was the Alabama white sauce. We are going to keep a couple ingredients out of it out of respect because that is a secret. Drum roll, please. 98.75. Winning a plaque and $1,000 as well. Please welcome to the stage, the Flat Top King! The Flat Top King, come on up! In our sweet category division. You're live. I thought you were taking a picture. You're live, baby. Champions of 2024, y'all might as well go home. Ain't no sense in any y'all putting anything. We got Runner this up. Today. Okay? Just get used to being second in life. If you're not first, you're, you're last. There. Hey, so you gotta get in a picture. Man. I'm in. Start over. Start over. We don't know. I'll just edit all that out. You're not getting it. never YouTube. Somebody always films me. <laughs> hey, what's going on, brother? What's up, YouTube? We're out here with Flat Top King, Big Kahuna Wing Festival 2024. Five minutes, we're going to light up the sky in downtown Knoxville at the 11th annual Big Kahuna Wing Festival. You don't want to miss this show. Your boy brought home a trophy, so maybe he doesn't suck so bad after all. This is for all the haters. I can tell you what, this is a proud moment right here. First competition ever. There's five divisions, typically about, I think there's about uh, 40 teams. Um, and I brought home Creative Suite. You might be asking, what did you cook? You guys remember, we can put the video link um, in the description or under the description, however it works out of the old fashioned pork belly burn ends. I took that idea and I ran with it. I made a couple of twists on there like everybody does, but that was the idea. So the idea was an old fashioned wing and it got us first place in that category. Super excited. Um, 
just grinning ear to ear still. I've texted a bunch of people um, and let them see like uh, what it looked like on stage when they announced the winner. Uh, proud of my family, proud of my wife, my kids for coming through and everybody that helped. What an amazing event. It actually is a charity. They give a ton of money away for charity and uh, couldn't be more proud. Sunday night when it was over, we got uh, home basically like 11 o'clock. We looked at each other and said, we're not doing that again. By Monday morning, we looked at each other and said, what kind of shirts are we going to wear next year? So <laughs> We need team t-shirts. We need team t-shirts. That's right. That's right. So had a blast doing it. Uh, thanks for each, one of, each and every one of you for the encouragement. Um, I've had some slack lately because I like to smoke them pecan pellets. We did that based off a taste test. And through the footage you'll see, we actually took the smoking pecan pellets down there. I would not have ran the hybrid. I actually ran that hybrid pit down there um, with smoking pecan pellets if I didn't feel confident they were a good pellet, right? I just won a championship using the smoking pecan pellet. So if you guys are interested, flat top king, whatever, that link can be listed below as well because I was confident in it and I back that statement 100% with a trophy. So that being said, we have the wings cut. I'll show you how we do that. If you've never separated a wing before, there's basically three parts to a wing. You got the tip, you got the flat, and you got the drum. If you're cutting these apart, don't fret. The problem is you just gotta find that seam. If you find a bone, just work around it and it should go right through like butter. If you're having a hard time, that means you're not in the seam and you're actually going through bone. So find that groove and it'll go right through it. We are going to follow along one of the recipes that we have already on pellets and pits. Um, it's basically how to get uh, crispy chicken wings on a smoker. We'll start them off low, get that smoke on there, bump up that temperature, oil them, and then put them back on there for that crispy wing. When we were at the competition, we smoked then deep fried. That was a very common practice there. Um, but today we're gonna do everything on the pellet smoker. We got the Traeger rocking. Whoo, boy, I'm still tired from that thing. All right, here we go. Before we get these wings seasoned, I just want to mention we're going to clarify our times. We've had a couple people comment in that these are like the worst wings they've ever had. The timing's off. I just want to reiterate. The first and foremost, all smokers are different. So our temps could be different than your temps. Second of all, when it comes to wings, wing sizes differ as well. When we're at the competition, we had small wings. So we had to adjust our cooking times accordingly. The most important thing I can tell you when it comes to a crispy chicken wing, you have to cook to temp. Okay, because each set of wings that I have could be different than your wings. I know the frozen wings react different once they're thawed out than these fresh wings. And I know for a fact this brand is larger than another brand I used on a video re just recently. So take all that stuff into consideration. We're going to double check our times, but the most important thing is temperature. We got Shake That. Shake That was used on our old fashioned. So it is technically, you know, technically it's a championship rub. It's a championship rub. Just saying. Just saying. You know what we could put on our next label? Award winning. <laughs> uh, I had fun. Boy, it was a lot of work too, but I had a blast. Met a lot of people. Shout out to TMG Pit. Oh, uh, shout out to uh, Well Station Barbecue. If you guys are ever in Knoxville, you guys know that uh, we try to support the local community. Uh, Marcus is the owner. He was absolutely fantastic. This recipe actually stems from him a little bit. And uh, he knocked it out of the park with TMG Pits. Really came through, hammered it home. Checkers getting up to temp. I'm just gonna go to quickly smoke mode. Yes, and we are going to rock the smoke mode. So I'm gonna look about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, something like that. Really won't know until we get there. Try to adhere as much smoke as possible. Separate the drums from the flats. If you really wanna get technical, See what I'm talking about? See how big that wing is right there? See how much more time this would take than that? So if you're cooking everything at the same time, it is going to be dried out. So just caution to the wind. All right, we have our wings also elevated off this surface as well. Um, just gives a little bit more even heat, maybe a little bit more surface area for that smoke to adhere to and uh, for the circulation point. And we'll just close the lid and give it about an hour. Alrighty, for all the marbles, we have mayonnaise, 
Use the brand that you like, vinegar, apple cider. You can use white if you want to. You go half and half if you want to. W sauce, hot sauce, honey, black pepper, granulated garlic, fresh squeezed lemon juice, prepared horseradish. Give this a mix. In the fridge it goes until it's time to use once our wings have smoked and then smoke fried. Exactly one hour later. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I'm actually just gonna take this whole rack out. It's just easier for me. Dial that baby up to 400. And while that's coming up to temp, we are going to toss our wings in a little bit of oil. So temperature wise, cause I truly believe that the temperature is more important than the grill temperature. Um, you know, the fluctuations on the Traeger could be different with fluctuations on the Lone Star or the Weber or the Pit Boss, Green Mountain Grills, Blackstone, you name it. Um, we're going to toss it in some oil. So my uh, flats were probing anywhere about 155-ish and the drums were probing about 140, okay? So just give you an idea for temps. We're looking at roughly four tablespoons of oil. My wife said I had to use exactly four tablespoons. So we're just gonna toss that together. One. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Four tablespoons exactly. Oh, at 400 degrees is there. About right there. And now we're just gonna to cook to temp. It should take about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes for the flats. Maybe 40 minutes for the flats and maybe 50 minutes for the drums, something like that. We'll check them with temps. Alrighty, the wings are done. You can see we got some nice crispy wings right here. Looking fantastic they are. They're good too, we've had a couple on the side. All right, we got that sauce out of the refrigerator and I'm just going to add a little bit of sauce to the wings. Add as much as you like, give that a toss. You could put these back on the smoker if you wanted to, tack up and just keep adding layers of flavor, but one good toss for me is good. All right guys, there you go, not bad. I do not know what kind of score out I got today versus the other day, but they look good to me. That sauce is set on there nice and ooh, gooey, my favorite. Plus you get those crispy chicken wings too. Mm. I'm addicted. <laughs> mm. It is way better on the wing than what I expected. Like when, when the sauce actually set up mm -hmm. and kind of thickened. Mm. <laughs> it is a pretty chicken wing. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Mm. What'd, right. you what'd you tell me when I guessed at the recipe? Mm -hmm. Just winging it? Uh-huh. About, three, <laughs> about 340 days till next year. This will sit proudly in my office. Just can't stop grinning ear to ear. It just means a lot to me, especially for, for my, especially for my first competition. Um, had a blast. Can't thank TMG Pitts, Brandon Hayes, and that big team enough for helping me helping me out behind the scenes, along with getting my smoker down there. Um, fantastic friends that I met along the way, and just excited to do it again. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We don't have that yet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. <laughs> Cheers to next year. Those are good, babe. <laughs>